This is an OBD dongle. This is an app that works with it. And this is Electric Focus. So let's get into the video. Recently, I had the state of health of the Jaguar I-Pace battery checked at the local dealership. And when I had that done, if you saw my video, you'll see that it came out at 91%. That was across all the 36 modules that they check. Somebody recently asked me um, why I didn't just get one of these, which is an OBD dongle. So that stands for Onboard Diagnostics, if you don't know. Um, and yes, I have thought about getting one of these and it's just I haven't got round to it. But I did want to get an official check done by Jaguar to make sure that it was in writing and it was telling me exactly what the state of health was. And I think this is really important because in the future, when you're buying second-hand EV car, you would want to know what the state of health of that battery is. I think it's going to be vital. And I think all dealerships should be showing this to customers if they're buying a second-hand car. So you should certainly ask for it. But the least you could do is get one of these OPD dongles. And this one is called VPeak. And I'll show you now on the screen. You can get it from Amazon. It's a pretty good price. I think I paid £39. And last time I looked, it was uh, even cheaper than that. So you can get it from Amazon. And it works on most cars. And in fact, it says on the details uh, that it works on all cars from petrol cars from 2001, I think, and, or diesel cars from 2004. But I think it's really useful for EVs to be able to at least get an idea of the state of health of the battery. But the reason I think it's important to get the manufacturer to do it as well, because you want it to be 100% accurate. And I don't know with the OPD dongle that you can rely on it being 100% accurate. Perhaps if you know more than that than I do, you can let me know, but you'll see that it's slightly different. So OPD dongle, really good thing to have, and I've got one now, and I'm just gonna show you how to connect it, and also you do need another app for this. So you get the dongle, but you need an app as well to go with it. So this is the dongle, this is what it looks like, this is the connector, and on the Jaguar I-Pace, the connection point is just under the steering wheel, just above the brake pedal so it's easy to fit you just have to slot it in and then you can check that it's actually connected if you just put your hand underneath to see the blue light on your hand because it's pointing downwards so that confirms to you that it's actually connected in next thing you need is an app now i got an app called car scanner it seems to be one of the most popular and in it again it works with lots of models now you may want to look into your specific model if you've not got a Jaguar I-Pace but if you've got a Jaguar I-Pace like I can tell you it works really really well it's very easy to connect up and it gives you a load of information as well so it's fantastic so when the dongle's connected into the car then you just have to connect up the app and the first thing you need to do is go in and you'll have to do some a few bits of setup and it really is very very easy to use it I did it first time so it's not complicated so I won't go through that whole sequence but once you've done that when you go back in then to use the car scanner it's very very easy all you need to do is go into the app and we'll just do this now you just press the app and then you'll get the screen connect here at the bottom it's got connect so you just press connect and it starts communicating with the OBD dongle. Only takes a few seconds, this is real time. And then you can see successful connection. So that's all good. And then you get this menu here and at the top left hand corner, this is the one you'll use most of the time. Just go into the dashboard and then you've got 13 different screens if you see at the top there, so you can skip through. But you can also actually customize this um, I haven't done that yet I haven't actually seen how to do that but there is a way of customizing it but this is the main one you'll probably use it's got some really useful information on here so top left hand corner you've got battery state of charge which is always good to know you've then got battery temperature and I think that's really useful information because you will notice that when the battery temperature is under 20 degrees 
you're getting much lower charging speeds and when it's over to 20 degrees batteries like to be between 20 and 40 degrees and I notice when it's higher temperatures you get much faster charging speeds so that's actually useful to see you've got battery voltage battery current and down the bottom there you've got in the middle bottom you've got battery state of health capacity so in this case it says that the battery is 93.5 percent so if you think about the test I had done with Jaguar, where they said it was 91% overall, over all the different modules, the average, then that is a slightly different number. I'm not sure why there's a difference there and whether it's just that this isn't as accurate as a full test. Perhaps somebody in the industry can explain that, but it certainly gives you an idea of where your battery state of health is and useful to have if you're out and about looking at you know, buying a second-hand car, you could ask to, you know, put a dongle in and and have a look at what the state of health of the battery is. Um, and I'm sure they'd uh, allow you to do that because it'd be really useful to know that information. And I think, though, that dealerships need to be giving this information out in the first place anyway. As you can see, I'm back indoors now. It's getting a bit warm in that car and it got so warm that the camera switched itself off as well. So, I thought coming here just finish off. Um, so hopefully that was enough information about the OBD dongle and linking it up to Car Scanner. And just to let you know that on Car Scanner you get the basic version, which it's got quite a lot of information on it, but you do get adverts as well. So to get rid of that, you can pay a subscription fee as a monthly charge, or I would just say like I did, just pay six ninety nine, and then you get rid of the ads and you get the full functionality for good. So that's the best option, I think. And the other thing to let you know about is importantly that you can't look at the information unless you're in the car and the car switched on. So when you get into the car, you make sure you press your start button and then you can connect up and get all that information. And the other good news is if you've got a better route planner, it links up to that as well. So a better route planner, if you haven't got it, it's a really, really essential tool for EV drivers really good route planning app for a start but also when you link it up to the OPD dongle it gives you a lot more information it makes a better route planner a lot more accurate as well because it's getting real-time information from your car so it makes route planning really really accurate so really useful to know and you can see on the screen now how simple it is to set up as well very very easy um, once it's there you've just got it there all the time so that's another thing I hope that was useful. As always, thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.